Mazel Tov, Harold. This is Harold's Bar Mitzvah, and as the title suggests, it's Harold's Bar Mitzvah. But being Harold, he's not exactly the most diligent of people. He's not into it, he's struggling, and just in general, he doesn't want to go through with it. So the day of the Bar Mitzvah, he decides to run away. He's going to get a boat and go out to what I think is the island from... The episode where Arnold and the gang go to an island looking for the treasure, and it turns out to be counterfeit money. But along the way, he has a bunch of stops where, at one point, there's a mom who's crying looking for a son, and he finds a little boy who's crying looking for his mother, and he directs him to each other because he's like, I can't take this. Then he's on the bus going over the dock, and some guy's pick, about to pick a fight with him, and then the guy's like, say your prayers, Harold, and Harold starts reciting, like, a blessing and he gets to the dock and he decides you know what I'm going back and he does his prayers and then it turns out he couldn't rent a boat because he was too young so he just winds up going there this is really rough for me because as far as I know there's not a single cartoon I've seen that has gone into a bar mitzvah so the fact that hey Arnold was gonna take the time to do an episode centering around a bar mitzvah had me really excited not just as a Jew, but also for non-Jews, who would have the opportunity to learn about other cultures through Hey Arnold. By watching this show, not only would they be entertained by great characters, but they could also learn more about other cultures and other holidays, and this could be their introduction to it. One of my favorite shows growing up was Rugrats, and one thing Rugrats did was a Passover episode, and it wasn't just like a 10, 11 minute thing. It was like a full 20 minute special just dedicated to Passover. They didn't have to do that, but the fact that they made the time to make an entire side of Tommy's family Jewish, the fact that we're literally going to have an episode with a Seder and where we explain the story of Passover, it was so cool. And I watched that VHS every Passover, and you can see why I was excited. The fact of the matter is, is that they were doing it with Harold. I've said before, Harold's probably my least favorite character on the show just because he's very one-note, shell, and I'm not a fan of his whiny crybaby voice. If there was ever a character that you were going to reveal that they're really Jewish and they were going to have this milestone where they were going to have to become grown up, more responsible and kind and considered, Harold's the one that could probably benefit the most through that. And for a while, there was a lot of stuff they were getting just right. When Harold's reciting prayers, all the pronunciations and melodies are spot on. I have no clue how long it took the voice actor to learn how to do all these melodies and pronounce everything. But the fact that they took the time to do that, it it's that extra care that had me excited. It's like, wow, they are really trying to get this right. But unfortunately, I feel feel like this episode fell short. What it does is fine, but I feel like it could have done more. And the area I feel like they could have done more in is the way Harold matures. And it's he doesn't have any shocking revelations. He doesn't have any growth. He does the right things for the wrong reasons. He helps the kid, yes, but he helps him so he won't shut up. Or the boat. He only goes to the bar mitzvah because he couldn't rent the boat. Harold really doesn't discover anything on his own. He has these experiences and eventually just decides to go back. And considering how much you could have had this character grow in this episode, I felt like it was a missed opportunity. I thought about it a while, and there's a way you could have made this episode better. Not that it's bad the way it is, but if you wanted this to like really be something special, here's how I would have done it. After Harold runs away, we cut to everyone in shul waiting for Harold to show up. Time goes by, people are getting nervous. Then Harold shows up, he goes through his prayers, and then he gives the speech, which if you don't know, at your bar mitzvah, usually you give, like, not always, but most of the time you'll usually give a speech talking about what this day means to you, your mitzvah project. So Harold does a speech, and... One of the concepts could be Harold just has been struggling with speech, and he comes in, and he talks about his speech and talks about opens with, I didn't want to do this, I didn't want to leave. And then we flash back and show all those events. The only difference is that Arnold wouldn't be there. And the reason why that would be better is because when Harold gets to the boat, he could have this mo moment of self-revelation where he realizes he's done all this great stuff, 
And I feel like that would make him a stronger character because the way it is right now, Arnold basically just spells everything out for Harold. And yeah, Harold's the kind of character that needs stuff spelled out. But wouldn't it have been far more interesting and compelling if Harold had come to these realizations on his own without Arnold's help? You still would have summed up the moral, but it would have shown character growth. And the other thing that would have helped this episode, and again, this is something I touched on earlier, but I would have liked to have seen it be 20 minutes long. Considering how big this episode could have been, I would have liked more, not just time to delve into all the other aspects of the bar mitzvah, but it would have given more time to have Harold's internal conflict play out. Also, as a bonus, it would have given more time to delve into the bar mitzvah because as is, it's fine, but Terrell just reads a basic prayer. He doesn't read his Torah portion. We don't see him read his Haft Torah portion. We don't see him give a speech. We don't see his parents give a speech. We don't see people throw candy at Harold from after he finishes reading the Haft Torah, which is a way of blessing someone a sweet new year. Again, I understand you only have 11 minutes, but I would have liked it if we had delved into this. Because you look at the Rugrats thing, how they took the time to have 20 minutes so they could explain and delve into all the customs and traditions and what goes into it. I mean, okay, they didn't do the full Seder, but you see my point. As is, I still like it. I still think it's a pretty good above average episode, but I feel like it could have been more meaningful. Again, the only miscellaneous thing I have for this episode is that when the fight broke out on the bus, the bus driver didn't shout, get down or keep down, which bus drivers should do, by the way. Even now, today I'm on the bus and There'll be times when people are standing up or goofing around, making a lot of noise, and the bus driver will be like, pipe down. Again, back to high school. Like, there was one time where I was coming home on the bus, and a fight broke out, and the bus driver pulled the bus over, walked over the back of the bus, and broke up the fight. That's my thoughts on this episode. Join me next time when I'll continue talking about Hey Arnold with another episode. Soap, I'll see you then. Did I just say soap? <laughs>